The Standard Chartered Women in Tech Incubator was launched in 2020 in Ghana to help address gender disparity in the technological sector and to facilitate the use of technology in tackling various challenges faced by the communities. The program primarily supports female-led entrepreneurial teams with business management training, mentoring, and seed funding. It also doubles as part of the Future Makers, a standard chartered global initiative to tackling inequality and promote economic inclusion. Implemented by the Ghana Climate Innovation Center, GCIC of the Ashesi University, to date, 34 have participated in the incubators and 10 startups have received a total of $100,000 to scale up their businesses. Here are highlights from the journeys of five exciting startups that participated in cohort two of the Standard Chartered Women in Tech Incubator Program. Dell's shop is an online marketplace for Ghanaian hair and skincare products. We collate all the quality made in Ghana hair and skincare products and we ship it worldwide. HA Farms is an integrated agribusiness that is focused on producing healthy and affordable poultry products and food for the health conscious Ghanaian. Famio is an agribusiness company that leverages on technology, circular economy principles and precision farming techniques to provide affordable greenhouse farming technologies for smallholder and backyard farmers. We are a tour operations company that creates tours, tailor tours a business customer within Ghana and we hope to extend our services across the continent. But we farm and also work with smallholder farmers in rural communities in the Upper West region. So what we do is grow um, crops like maize, soya beans, sobe, and also cash crops like shanats and then cashew nuts. I was really excited to see the diversity amongst the participants this year and the final five um, coming from a mixture of technology, agri-tech, um, traditional agricultural practices, beauty, which is one of my um, key passions, and then tourism. I love to travel as well. So the diversity was really broad um, this year, which made managing these companies um, throughout this process really exciting. I think diversity is important. It's important for us to be able to demonstrate um, how technology can be applied to support a number of different businesses, um, whether we're operating in more traditional businesses such as agriculture or you know, more um, recent business models such as e-commerce. Um, so I think that this, this broad range of companies um, really demonstrates that um, technology can help to grow and scale a multitude of businesses. Farmio generally is a greenhouse farming systems provider but they also offer the full range of value chain services to their enterprise. So beyond fabricating and delivering greenhouses, they are also offering you know, value addition in terms of agronomic support services, in terms of e-commerce support services and all of those things. Now the innovation under this incubator, which we are proud to be supporting, is that we are helping them integrate and transition their support services into a virtual unit through an app they are developing and referred to as the Famio Super App. So the Famio Super App will integrate four different elements of their, of their, of their operations. So likely it will be having an e-commerce platform, it would have a farm management platform, it would have an ecosystem building platform but it will also integrate a crowdfunding or an investor platform. In this way, they are able to provide holistic support services to their clients in a way that helps them to reach wider and further and to be able to offer their support services in real time. I heard about the Standard Chartered Women in Tech Incubator Program on the internet. I was going through Instagram and I found the call for application and I applied. I heard about the SC program from a lady who had won the Stanchard grant last year. We met at a livestock meeting at Cape Coast and she spoke about the opportunities available to women through the Stanchard to Women Technology program. I heard about the SC program on a WhatsApp group called um, Grant Support Center. Some you heard about the SC, that's the Standard Chartered Women in Tech program 
Through one of our research online, we applied and we were approved. One of the businesses we are incubating in this cohort is Delta Shop. Largely, what we are supporting them with in terms of innovation is to help them develop or integrate artificial intelligence into their business operations. Now, that artificial intelligence tool is expected to help them optimize product selections for their clients. So what that AI tool will do is to sort of, for instance, map out the face of the client who comes onto their website and then be able to diagnose on the basis of a range of uh, metrics and data what kind of product would be suitable for their skin type. The SEWIT project is at this time very proud to be associated with that innovation by Delsey Shop. My journey throughout um, this program has been very profound and insightful throughout the trainees and interactions. And it has helped me not to be, to be more of a professional entrepreneur rather than being just a lifestyle entrepreneur. The grant money is going to help me to expand my business. We are setting up a fully automated drinking system for our beds and also set up um, a surveillance system and a website and to buy technologically improved poultry inputs for our business. Grant has been so helpful and what we're using the grant now for is to um, develop the AI on the website which is uh, a skin consultant. So you go onto our website at www.delcyshop.com and it will be like you're talking to a consultant but it's through the website so we're currently building that and we're also increasing our digital marketing so we're hopeful that this grant will um, increase our market assets and will increase our revenue. SE grant that we're privileged to get is being used for tourist activities that we have planned for the last quarter of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023. The rest will be plowed back to invest into our virtual reality tours that we are planning to boost our marketing. The virtual reality tours is videos we are making about the various tourist sites in Ghana that will be marketed on our website and our app that is currently uh, being built. To the partners, Ghana, Climate Innovation Center and the Standard Chartered Bank, we are really, really appreciative of this opportunity that you've given to us as grantees and as participants of this incubator. And we look forward to this opportunity being extended to a lot more females out there. We hope the next cohort will be able to benefit as much as we have and we'll also appreciate all the help that you've given to us as well as this grant support. Thank you. I'd like to say a very big Thank you to the organizers of this program, Standard Chartered, Ashesi University, and the Ghana Climate Innovation Center. You guys are doing a very good job in nurturing small businesses that are women-led in Ghana like us. And I would like to encourage every woman who has a technology business out there to apply for this program. I want to say a very big thank you to Stanchat and GCIC for this program because their program has really been an eye-opener for me in terms of using technology. I was using technology but their training has helped improve on how I see technology now and also their program has helped me receive funding to expand my production. I will encourage every female entrepreneur who uses technology in one form or the other or has a technology business to apply for this incubator you will learn a lot i'm super excited about the standard chartered women in tech incubator program and the impact we are making across the entire africa and middle east region today as we graduate the second cohort in ghana i would like to congratulate the participants 20 of them who took part in the program i know that the skills they have acquired will impact their businesses positively. I'd like to also congratulate the five winners who have received their seed funding. I know that this would help them scale up their businesses even further and faster, and also help them make even bigger impact in the communities in which they operate. Congratulations to all our winners today. Thank you.